I'm Curtis Dykstra, AKA OvenBirder98. I'm a week away from embarking on another birding adventure. This time I decided to try something new to cover my adventure and share it and the birds I encounter with you. I'm letting you follow along in real time. There are two ways to do this. First, you can follow along with my eBird trip report. It's empty now, but it will populate with checklists as I submit them during the defined dates of my trip. You'll find a link in the description. Second, I am aiming to produce and post short vlogs or video blogs every day or every few days as I am able. This all depends on cell phone coverage and my own time and energy, so we'll see how it goes. The best way to keep up with me is by subscribing to my YouTube channel. So where am I going this time? In all my life, I have been to 48 out of 50 states, and on this trip, I plan to visit one of the last two remaining states that I have not been to. And it's not Hawaii, as it's pretty hard to take a road trip to an island. I'm going on a road trip from Michigan to the treeless, rolling grasslands and prairie potholes of North Dakota. A surprise to many, North Dakota has tremendously beautiful scenery and is an excellent state for birding. It has several species that I have never seen before, including chestnut collared longspur, Baird's sparrow, and greater sage grouse. Additionally, I'd love to find a long-billed curlew and possibly one more lifer, if I venture into Wyoming, a mountain plover. But a road trip isn't a road trip if it's just about the destination. I am taking advantage of my travels to North Dakota as well. I plan to travel north to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, turn left on Highway 2, and head west. You can see on my eBird map that I have not birded much in the western UP. I plan to change that by hopefully adding 25 species for each of the six counties that I'll travel through and have not birded in before. Looking nationally, you can see that there are many states I have not birded in. I have a very small list for Wisconsin and hope to boost that list up to 50 species, as this is a goal I would like to accomplish for all 50 states. Next, I plan to spend a day in Saks Zim Bog in Minnesota where I've previously visited in the winter to look for great gray owls. I'm eager to see the boreal species that inhabit this location during the nesting season. But it's the rolling grassland hills and prairie pothole wetlands of North Dakota that I am most looking forward to. My main stops will be at Lostwood National Wildlife Refuge and Theodore Roosevelt National Park. I would like to dip into Montana to see if I can hit 50 species there as well. Then on my way home, I'll drive through South Dakota to attempt another 50 species for that state. I'm looking forward to taking you all along on this birding road trip adventure to North Dakota.